Welcome to SciMath videos. I hope you have subscribed to this channel and have viewed all the videos uploaded till now. Today, uh, we are going to discuss a very important concept in the science in the field of science and mathematics and that is about area. Yes, generally we hear this concept of area in our uh, science textbooks, in our mathematics textbooks and also sometimes in social studies and also we uh, hear it in our daily lives. Okay. That is why it becomes very important for, our, for all of us to understand the concept of this area. Now, before going into the concepts of area, let us discuss something called as the dimensions and the various shapes that we regularly see and come across in our life. Okay. First of all, dimension. So now, I have this scale. Okay. So now, I'll start from here and I'll start walking on this scale and I'll come and start, stand, uh, end here. So this is one dimension, okay? You can just say it as an X uh, dimension. Or now I have this piece of paper, okay? I start from here, I come here and also come down, okay? This is two dimension. You can see a length and a breadth. This is two dimension. And there is something called as three dimensions, okay? So now we are a three dimension. We are 3D. You, I think you all observe movies, you go to 3D movies where you feel that the person is coming in front of you. You feel that some rocket is coming towards you. This is because the effects are in three dimension. You can see all the three dimensions that is X, Y and Z. So this concept is first of all important. Now coming to the daily life shapes that we see. First of all, we all see a shape known as square. We all see a shape called rectangle. We see circle. We, we see uh, triangle, we see trapezoids, okay? There are many such shapes or these shapes may be separately or maybe combination of shapes, okay? Like you all draw home. How do you draw? You draw a rectangle. Above the rectangle, you keep a triangle that makes a home, right? It is a combination of these shapes, okay? So now, these are the regular shapes that we come across. So all these shapes are two dimensions, right? See now, for example, we have square here. What is a square? All the sides are same, one dimension and two dimension, rectangle, one and two. And coming to the circle, this also is a two dimension and triangle, two dimension. So these are the shapes, okay. Now coming back to area, what is area? Area is nothing but the space covered within this 2D shapes. Now you can see the space, okay, the space is the area of this shape okay now and how do you measure area we need to measure something no so to measure area it is a multiplication of these two dimensions okay now coming back see see this uh, diagram what is the area of square you might know it it is side square you're multiplying two sides one dimension into one more dimension so side into side side square and coming to the rectangle, the length into breadth, L into B. Coming to circle, see here, pi R square, R is twice. That means you are multiplying two dimensions. And rectangle, and triangle, see, half into base into height. You are again multiplying two dimensions. Similarly, there are many other shapes, like trapezoid, uh, still more shapes where you can measure using this formula. So basically what you need to remember is, area is the multiplication of two dimensions. Now, for any measurements, there is a unit, right? Like if somebody asks you, what is your uh, weight? You, you won't say just 50. You will ask further, 50 what? You'll say 50 kgs, right? Similarly, for area, there are units. Now, these units may be, when you measure something in your paper, how do you measure? You use a scale and measure. So centimeter into centimeter. You will if you want to measure this in scale, you can. So this comes up to some out seven centimeter. This may be seven. Seven into seven becomes forty nine centimeter square, and that centimeter square is the unit. Okay. If now, if there are small pictures, okay, like this, you can measure with your scales. It is easy. But what about to measure this entire wall here? This wall is a rectangle here. How do you measure it? I need a measuring tape. Okay. Then it becomes in meters, meters it may be meter square or uh, uh, square feet or inches, in, uh, square inches. Okay, so square inches, square feet, acres, hectares. This all you have be heard 
when you when your parents or you want to purchase a piece of land you'll hear something in this terms area acre hectare okay or uh, meter square all this are the units of area so basically the si unit of area is meter square but these are all the things that you can also uh, what measure uh, these are all the units of uh, area now coming to the next concept how do you find area okay i told you there are various methods if your picture is a very small figure you have a very small figure like you do in your geometry books you use scale it's very simple use that 15 cm scale or 30 cm scale now what about measure this wall you need a tape okay you can use a tape or now you have many apps your android phones itself where you can measure the area okay and if you want to measure a big land if you want to measure the area of this room you can measure okay there are many apps related to it or use tape and also if you want to measure a piece of land you can we, you can measure it you know how yes google maps in google maps there are many options where you can find the area of your land okay so these are the things to measure area now coming to the next important concept how is this used in daily life how is area used in daily life yes majorly the area is used to measure land if you want to purchase land okay you need to measure the land okay you can measure it at all using google map or using there are many surveyors who bring long chains and tape and measure the area of the land area is nothing but two dimension right do you count the depth of the land you does not count you do not want how many uh, depth is your land you just need what is the area of your land now even if you want to paint the wall okay you want to paint the area so you need to know the area of this wall okay so if your home is a, it may be a combination of shapes okay so by knowing the individual formulas you can find the area then how do you paint for example now if you want to purchase a commercial space you know what is the advertisement they advertise you like for 1 square meters or 1 square feet it is 1000 rupees so you go and measure the land you find it 10 square meters so for 1 square meter if it is 1000 rupees for 10 for 100 square feet how much it is it may be lakh rupees it may be 2 lakh rupees so depending on 1 square meter area you need to pay the area of the land or area of the space similarly for any functions okay you put shamiyanas right you know how they count your money okay they count based on area okay see now 1 square feet of shamiyana is around 30 40 rupees okay so if you are putting an area of a shamiyana of a very big shamiyana is a very large function your school function okay so basically it may be there thousand square feet of area so 1 square meter is 30 rupees so you are you are thousand square feet you multiply it and you get the area so this is how the daily life uh, importance of area so in coming up videos we'll also discuss about the concepts of volume the concepts of perimeter and all this important measurements so thank you for watching and finally don't forget to kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video among your among your friends and circles so thanks for watching